We have several different ways that we can go about exporting still images in DaVinci Resolve, and we can export images from any of the pages down below, though the method will change depending on the particular page that we're working on. Now, for our media, cut, edit, and color pages, we now have a new option with an 18.5, the latest version. We can come up to, after positioning our playhead on the particular frame that we'd like to export, we can come up to File in the top left-hand corner. Let's click on that. And then we have Export, and we can choose Current Frame as Still. We have our Export dialog. I'm just going to leave the name as the default. Then we have the Save as Type. We can click on the down arrow, choose TIFF, PNG, or one of the other formats. But I'll leave this on JPEG. Let's click on Export. I'm going to press Alt and Tab. And let's switch to our Explorer for our tutorial exports where this was saved to, and we can see our image here. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Let's go ahead and delete it. And let's switch back to Resolve. Now we can also assign a shortcut to this action. So if we again come to the top left corner, DaVinci Resolve, click on that. Let's choose Keyboard Customization. And in the search field here, I'm going to type in Export. And let's come to the file area. We have export. Let's expand that out. Current frame as still. I'll click once to select that. Let's click in the little box here, and I'm going to use Shift and X. And that's put in. Let's save that. Close. So now, with our frame selected, I'll press Shift and X. And we have our export dialog again going to our Tutorial Exports folder and the default naming and JPEG file type. Now let's select a different frame on a different clip and switch over to the color page. Now on the color page, once we have the particular frame we'd like to export set up, we can right click within our viewer and we have the option to grab still. I'll click once to select that. Now we can see that populated in our gallery. If you don't see your gallery panel, then click on gallery in the top left corner to make that visible. Now, once we have that here, we can right click and choose to export. And we have our familiar window here where we can name it and choose the file type, a variety of different formats. But I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out because this is already familiar to us. Now we can also select a different frame by using the timeline here. And if you're not seeing the timeline, in the top right corner we have timeline, which we can use to show and hide. We also have our clips here, so we can see the three clips within our project. If I click on that, we hide that. So we can select different clips to change the playhead position or what we're working with, or use the playhead within the timeline here. And we can also change that position and choose another still. We can select our second clip, grab a still from here, okay? And then once all of these have been populated within our gallery, we can right click and again, export. We can also control A to select all and then export those as a group as well. Now let's move on to our Fusion page. And I'd actually like a different frame. So let's uh, check out our clips in the top left corner. We have clips. I'll go ahead and show that. Let's select our first one. And I'll go ahead and hide that. Now here we can right click and choose Save Image. So if you're working on the color page and you'd like to quickly export, you can do that here. Now we also may have a situation where we'd like to export every frame from a particular clip. And one way that we can go about doing that is by pressing shift and spacebar to bring up our select tool. I'm gonna to type in saver and let's go ahead and add that. And just take note in our node editor, it's gonna add that automatically. Now while this is selected with the red border, we can take a look at our inspector over to the right here. Let's come to the browse and let's select our be sure our tutorial exports is selected another test I'll just leave this on as it is save as type let's choose all files if this is 
different for you, just be sure that you come in and type the format that you would like. Let's click on Save. And now that we've set up our export location, we can come to the top, choose Fusion, render all savers. This is going to render everything down. Okay, let's again Alt and Tab to switch to our Tutorial Exports folder. And we can see we have 38 items here. We have 38 different frames from this particular clip. Let's control A to select all and remove these or delete them. Come back to resolve. And the last method that we'll take a look at is on the deliver page. And this method is exporting multiple frames as well. We can choose the specific range by using our in and out markers here at the top. Let's actually press shift and Z to zoom in and see all of our clips. I would like to export again all of the frames within this first clip. So I'll pull this out marker in a bit. Our in marker is already select correctly positioned because I want to start from the beginning of this clip. Now let's come to our render settings. And by default, this is going to be on custom export. But what we'll want to do is change the format to JPEG here. So click on this drop down menu and be sure that you select JPEG. And let's go ahead and name this. Let's choose a location, our tutorial folder. Select that. Everything's good to go here. We'll then add that to our render queue. Let's render all. Now that that's completed, let's Alt and Tab. And we can see we have all of our frames here. Okay, so these are just several different ways that you can export your still frames from within Resolve. I hope it's been helpful and I will see you in the next tutorial.